Hello, Beamer Nome is back. And in this video, I am going to prove to you that the Sky Race or Angel Race V4 Awakening is the best race for grinding. With the Ector Slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dump. So before we start this short video, I would like to show you all the skills. First, guys, you need two gears on the King's Rule. There you go, the blue gear. This one adds an aura around you every time you transform. It has multiple effects that will aid you in grinding. Okay, next up guys, the most important thing, the energy training should be at max or tier 10. How will you know? If you've reached the max tier of an awakening, talk to the ancient one and he will tell you this. Okay, I've done all I can for you. Okay guys, so let's try this one first on mobs. My favorite. There you go guys, once you transform, every mob that will go within your range cannot move. Check this out guys. See that? Okay, so these mobs cannot damage you. Guys, I have damage because I let them attack me first in order for me to awaken our race or transform. Okay, so as you can see, it's very easy to grind. Guys, this includes every mob in the game. Okay, so next stop guys, how about grinding fragments? Everyone knows that the fastest way to grind fragments is through raids. So let's check it out guys. Flame raid. I'm gonna make this fast. Fast forward to the final island. Okay, so as you can see, uh, we have here CDK. I will only be using CDK or anything you want guys. Any sword or any fight style. But the important thing is your uh, race, Sky Angel V4 is awakened. Guys, don't worry about exhausting all your uh, awakening bar. At tier 10, it's very easy to regenerate it just by hitting enemies. So here you go guys, boss cannot move. There you go. So just keep on using your left click or auto clicker. Use a sword. See that guys? OP right? He cannot damage us. But this will only take effect when your enemy is within your range. So there you go. Boss is almost dead. Flame fruit, very easy right? You don't need Buddha anymore. Just use door to travel faster. How about the Buddha Raid Gamer Nom? Guys, we were able to finish it also solo without Buddha Fruit. Check this out. But guys, it's kind of hard to be honest. I removed my CDK and turned it into, uh, what do you call this, Acidium Rifle. And check this out. I use my Death Step. The Buddha Boss Raid can still damage you. There you go. It's kind of hard to be honest. So... I suggest use Buddha here. <laughs> but aside from this one, other raids will be easy. Gamer Noma about boss fights. Guys, I tried this awakening. So check this out, guys. This is a stone from the port town. Not like the boss raids, they can move from time to time. There you go. See that? Compared to the flame raid boss, right? Okay. How about stronger boss? Longma. Here it is. Full HP. Just use your left clicks. You can mini stun him from time to time, but he can retaliate. There you go. But very easy, right? Very easy. Okay, so we will try our luck more and try the beautiful pirate. Can we defeat this? Guys, uh, spoiler alert, we cannot. <laughs> Maybe if we dodge, but just use Buddha, right? If you're gonna dodge. So as you can see, first bar of HP down, but... We are almost dead. So guys, what do you think? Comment it on the comment section. Gamer Nom, how about the goal race? Hmm. I think goal will be better if you add Buddha. But check this out guys. I was able to do everything of this without the Buddha fruit. So guys, before I end this video, I will show you the final island of the Buddha raid in 2 times speed. So guys, as you can see, I cannot get near this Buddhas. <laughs> and if I ever I try that, they will burst my HP. The moment that the boss arrived, there you go. I kept on using my Acidium Rifle to damage them. My main goal here is to defeat them all before my Awakening disappears. So I can defeat the boss 1v1 just using my Death Step. So it's kind of hard to be honest. So Gamer Nome, what did you do? Acidium Rifle, Z and X skill plus X skill of Death Step. So as you can see, I am defeating the Buddha, the small Buddhas one at a time. But guys, even though there are two Buddhas left, it's still hard to defeat the boss because they can damage you with their skills and 
they can knock you back, right? So as you can see there, I I tried to use my death step to stun the boss and I was able to do it. But sadly, my awakening is almost out. There you go, sad guys. So what I did here was I tried to charge my awakening bar. There you go. <laughs> It's kind of annoying. This is small Buddhas. If only I can like uh, burst them fast enough, I can show you that we can defeat this boss with only using that step and V4 Sky. So as you can see, I am patiently uh, defeating them just by using Azidium Rifle again. ZNX skill. There you go. Left clicks, left ticks. And as you can see, we are slowly charging up our awakening bar so guys this will only happen or will only be possible if you reach tier 10 okay of your awakening max tier there you go okay for my accessory by the way i'm using lay to like increase my regeneration capabilities okay there you go so guys as you can see it's a 1v1 fight between me and the boss now but I don't have awakening so that is my next goal I still have three minutes if I tried attacking him now I will surely die so my main goal here is to again transform okay one more tip is to be patient while fighting these bosses don't panic if your time is ticking down just wait for the right time opportunity to defeat him so there you go almost there guys Ooh. i know some of you will comment gamer no just use a goal in buddha yes actually that's that's better to be honest also awaken it right but what if you don't have buddha okay so if i have if i'm gonna use my buddha fruit here everything will be a lot easier right but i'm just showing you that this race can stand on its own Anyway guys, just focus on the video and the moment that we transform, we're gonna smash this boss, okay? It's there. There you go guys. See that? Stun boss. Guys, this is a boss again. Alright, so that's it guys. I hope that you agree. If not, comment it in the comment section. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate y'all. It's GamerNom, and GamerNom out!